Block printing, as you all know, is the oldest printing technique. It is an art form that utilizes hand-carved wood dipped in a dye and stamped onto textiles like linen, cotton or silk. Hi, I'm Monisha and today I'm going to show you how you can block print using ready wooden blocks. Before we get into printing, there are a few key points you should keep in mind in terms of fabric, color and techniques. Use pure fabrics or cotton blend fabrics for block printing such as muslin, mull, linen, silk, etc. Avoid using nylon or lycra as the colors will spread out not leaving a crisp print. The color you use really depends on what material you want to block print on. Like if you're printing on a fabric, you can use acrylic colors or fabric colors. If you're printing on paper, you can use acrylic colors or poster colors. Pre-wash your fabric to ensure any extra factory coatings or chemicals are removed. The next important thing to do is to iron the fabric which will make it smooth, neat and ready for printing. I am going to be printing with this contemporary block using aqua green colour. Pour the colour in a plate and dab the sponge in the colour and then on the block. This will give an even application of colour on the block and help you print crisper. This is a very important step. Test the stamp on a rough piece of fabric or a paper before getting started. If the stamp is not properly coated in paint, dab the sponge on the stamp and try again. Take a rough fabric and lay it down. Then place a part of the dupatta over it. Now I will start printing randomly all over the dupatta. Then hold the cloth down and gently lift the stamp in one swift motion. Continue with your design, redabbing the stamp before each new application to ensure consistent prints. Allow it to dry thoroughly. Doesn't this look amazing? As the section is completed, I will push the fabric away from me for printing the next part of the dupatta. Repeat till you complete the printing of the entire dupatta. To seal the design, iron the reverse side to set the ink in the fibers for color fastness. And this is how my dupatta looks like. Follow the same process to print almost anything like I have done here on my tote bag. You can literally play around with the designs, patterns and colours and create your own unique piece. That's it for today. I hope you like this video and don't forget to watch the next episode of this series where I will show you how to make your own blocks and print quirky designs in the comfort of your own home. Until then, stay creative and stay glamorous.